We're having a bit of a tour, aren't we, Saul, of uh, some of our, our uh, highlights of uh, Agritechnica, some, just some of them, some of the vehicles that have caught our eye, including this beast behind us. What did you make of this one? I mean, this was a very pleasurable part of our tour of duty, Tom. The, the only one of its kind in the world that's a kind of all-in-one agricultural solution. It's incredible. It's got like, it's sort of a longitudinal, they've, they've taken the, the, the usual combine harvester design yeah. and they've sort of flipped it around so it runs, it. runs sort of uh, horizontally along the crops. Yeah, yeah it's a whole uh, plant, pro plant producing system we, uh, we put on the, on the fair here. Uh, we can use it for all the cultivation things you need on your fields. We can use for sowing, you can use it for the cultivation, you can use it for fertilizing and also for harvesting. Sure. Here we are on the Massey Ferguson stand. This is, this is undoubtedly one of the stars of the show, isn't it? Wow. This is a massive Massey Ferguson, Tom. <laughs> the massive the massive 9S, which uh, we covered the unveiling earlier this week, but it's, uh, yeah. it's worth uh, just, just calling in to have another look at it. Yeah. That's why we provide an engine which is the Aqua Power 8.4 liter six cylinder engine, um, providing up to no more 405 horsepower, but 425 horsepower, so increasing the top model horsepower delivered. We also deliver a Dynavity transmission, so the Dynavity transmission proven one, only the heavy duty system and power pack provided on this tractor for all the six models of this range. So, yeah, basically it's, uh, it's, a, it's a new system that allows uh, to use two levels of uh, filtration depending on what you are doing. We have the category four filter to protect the driver against pollutants and chemicals. And we have the category two filters, which is only against dust. So the concept of this modular product is to choose, depending on, the, on what you are doing, uh, to choose the right filter at the right moment. Okay, here we are on the uh, fence stand. We are. Um, and another Tractor of the Year award winner. Uh, it, I think this is the Sustainable Tractor of the Year. It's sustainable totty top. It is, it certainly is. The Sustainable Tractor of the Year, and of course, uh, uh, what better for a sustainable tractor than an electric tractor, which this is. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, it's electric. I believe that it has uh, uh, its blasting time is four to seven hours. Four to seven hours, uh, 55 kilowatts of power, I believe. Factory capacity of 100 kilowatts. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, it is electric, but it's not the only electric tractor on the market. No, no. It's the first fully electric specialized tractor with a power output of over 60 horsepower. Okay. So it's notable for that. Okay. And, uh, well, certainly very comfortable. Lots of bounce in the seat. Driving away. A prize winner, just letting off the handbrake now. This is brand new. This is a, like a concept car, if you want. This is a, hence the, the white color. We will uh, change our paradigm. Instead of laying out a motor for corner power, we are going with this motor, we are uh, putting the emphasis on. Uh, optimizing the energy efficiency over the whole cycle of the machine. So not only uh, at peak torque or at peak power, but uh, actually uh, on the entire duty cycle. Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> Here we are then. We're on the Valtra stand yeah. and, and revolving slowly behind us is, uh, well, what is this? Well, it, it's so the revolving boss. It's the new S-series from Valtra. It is. It's, a, it's extremely impressive here close up got flashing lights on it so what, it's what got flashing lights like all good bosses don't come too close no hey Tom we made you made another uh, very informative video about this which uh, people should check out on uh, on our channel right very popular you want the full details yeah. but we couldn't resist walking by this one and just doing another quick uh, hello to it if you go to look at the um, other electronics uh, we have here so we have um, several products here first for the electromobility um, maybe, maybe this is one of the most interesting ones, is the EPEC Flow power distribution unit here. Um, it's a um, very safe product, very well engineered product. It has uh, several features and we can provide it um, in a very flexible way. So customer can connect different amount of electric motors, inverters, battery systems and, and other components to the to the PDU and, and uh, then uh, it is possible to make um, 
really compact and efficient and powerful um, electrified machine, either hybrid or full electric. Right, we're at John Deere now. Yeah, yeah, I'm dazzled by the quality here. That's why I'm wearing <laughs> these sunglasses, Tom, you know that. There's loads on the John Deere stand and there is another video on our, uh, on our site about this stand on yeah. our channel. Yeah. But this one, I thought we'd just stand in front of this one because it is a, the brand new launch the self-propelled sprayer yeah. um, from uh, from John Deere and uh, it's it's their brand new vehicle for this event so I thought we'd just stop here and uh, include this in our our best of we've made our way to the uh, to the class stand and standing in front of what do we have here it's the the Zerion 12 590 that's it with and the key thing about this TerraTrack autonomous vehicle, is it the autonomy platform? Yeah. As I understand it, this can be set up to uh, work semi-autonomously. So the driver sits and the, the, the tractor basically controls itself, but the driver can make adjustments and, uh, and, and basically be there to sort of oversee the process. But yeah. it also has the capability to operate fully autonomously. So the, the special thing about this tractor is, so what we are using here is the Exceed robotic system. So as you might know, we we are partnering with the company Exceed from uh, the Netherlands and also do this Aquat. And we use literally their system on this tractor. So we have an interface from that system to the tractor. And what's special about this is, I mean, this looks pretty exciting because it's a big machine. But the special thing is basically it's a cloud-based ecosystem. This is in the corner of the uh, class stand. Um, it's the Agseed, one of the Agseed uh, bots we had one of these uh, agricultural robots on the cover of IDT magazine uh, a couple of years ago. I think that was around the time that Class uh, bought a share in the company because they obviously saw the, the potential for these things. This is actually a slightly smaller version of the, uh, the one we had on the cover. This is um, a diesel powered 75 horsepower machine and as you can probably see, completely, completely cabless. Uh, it's completely autonomous has LiDAR, LiDAR sensors on the top there, radar um, to uh, guide its way around the fields. Um, and this one is a light one uh, for, um, for, for applications such as mowing um, and harrowing, um, some of those are lighter applications. And uh, the reason this is uh, diesel powered, when uh, some, uh, uh, obviously there's a big trend towards electrification, but Part of, the, uh, part of the challenge with a, with, a, with a vehicle like this is to keep the, keep the weight very light uh, so that it's not, uh, there's no undue uh, soil compression. So, uh, so this has uh, a diesel engine with electric drives on the wheels uh, uh, to, to, create, uh, to, to meet those uh, uh, expectations and those demands. It's great to see it here in the flesh. Yes. Saul, Saul stepped behind the camera for this one. Um, <laughs> so, um, this one is available to market and is the uh, uh, winner, the overall winner of the Tractor of the Year. So that's why it's garnering such a lot of attention. There's actually a massive queue over there for uh, to, to, just to get in the cab and have a look. I may say they're a class apart. Oh, class of their own. Top of the class. Working class. Class dismissed. Now we, we are in this uh, transformation. Uh, as the rest of the world, we are also transforming and um, we are uh, targeting to go to uh, yeah, CO2 neutral solutions then moving forward. And uh, for, for that we have a, a set of, of new technologies and new offerings such as uh, electromobility. Uh, we are also looking into hydrogen engines and, and fuel cell solutions. And uh, this is now what, what we see will, will support our customers in the transformation. Hi, this behind me is the uh, Concept Steer Hybrid CVT tractor. So this is sort of, it's what's inside this that counts rather than what's on the outside. They've, they've blacked out the windows. It's not what's inside the cab that counts. It's, what, it's the continuously variable transmission, which is a hybrid version, which uh, they Pretty, they're, they're shouting pretty loud about here on the steer stand, and, and justifiably so. I believe it was the winner of a uh, of a uh, innovation award, a silver innovation award, here at Agrotechnica. So it's certainly worth noting, and uh, it's certainly worth uh, um, keeping an eye on for the future. One to watch.
Here we we're on the uh, we're on the New Holland stand now, and uh, we can't we can't walk past this one. This is the gold award winner for this year's uh, Agrotechnica Innovation Awards, and uh, it is in honour of that award. It's been painted in gold. This gold uh, colour you see behind us is, and sadly, I'm informed it will not be available to the public in gold. Ah. Oh. That's a blow. I know. Oh, well, I'm pulling out then. Yeah, because you were, you wanted one, didn't you? Yeah, in... I put down a deposit and everything, but... Well, look, so it's the Gold Award winner. Tell it, me about it. I mean, it, tell me about it, Tom. Tell what? me, well, you know, I think we've got, we've got, we're going to have a full case study for this in a future issue. Sure. And uh, I think there's even a video somewhere that we're going to post of uh, a real expert talking about this. But suffice to say, this is, I believe, the biggest combine harvester in the world. Uh, and it, it, and it's a it's a justifiable winner of this award because it uh, it, it really uh, um, has some incredible new innovations in actually how it works inside. But yeah, as yeah. I say, we will hand over to the real experts to talk about well, that because I'll probably just get muddled up if I try well, to explain it. We should, but like everything New Holland, aesthetically, it's a real treat, isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing, and the the, the styling of the outside of it, even when it's not in gold, yeah. looks incredible. This yeah, combine. Yeah. It's completely new. When I say completely new, 90, more than 90% of the parts is new. That means that behind me here, there is uh, more than 8,000 um, newly developed uh, parts. And we have uh, the, main, the main goal of this project is to reduce the total cost of harvest for our customers. And we're doing this, like you saw, with a much bigger combine, a much more productive combine. Starting productivity, we go from, uh, from the feeder. The feeder channel has, has been made wider to get more uh, material through and also to feed a whole uh, feeding channel, a crop flow channel that is much wider than today. It comes with uh, bigger rotors, bigger, longer rotors that are about 50% longer. And this also allows us to use the rotors to feed directly into the residue system. Because we have been awarded by the DLG, by the uh, German association which is really awarding uh, the most advanced features and technology about two silver medal which for us is really proud because we are focusing on the sustainability the first one is for our t4e so the t4 electric the second one is exactly on this product that you can see on the IDT magazine so the t7 lng both focus on sustainability, so electric and biomethane. And the last but not the least, you can see here on the back, the only gold medal on agriculture, which has been awarded to the CR11, which is the biggest combine in the world, the more advanced in terms of technology and more advanced in the performer, which is really creating, I would say, a new level on the harvest. Um. This is where our uh, where Carlo Lambro is sitting on the cover of our magazine. So um, let me just uh, see if I can flip this around so you can get a better view of uh, what it looks like in here. There we go. So this is the this is the operator's operator's view from Agritechnica. And wait, um, and look, there's IVT Deputy to saw Wordsworth. <laughs> Here we are out, outside the, uh, the, the T7 methane power mm -hmm. from New Holland. You know what, I, what is really uh, impressive about New Holland's offerings? And this was, the, this was a silver award winner in the Innovation Awards, the electric one, which is just over there, is the, uh, uh, another silver award winner. Um, they, uh, they're really leading the way, I think, in, the, in some of these alternative fuels and like, you know, really making some proper inroads in, in terms of um, Getting, getting the methane power stuff out there to the customers. And uh, I, think it, I think it's really impressive, uh, justifiable award winners. Oh, absolutely, I second that. Yeah. Uh, methane is the future. Methane, yeah. Well, if you can, get, if you can, uh, if you can find a place to refuel, yeah. then, uh, then it's good. And I think, you know, New Holland also have some innovations in terms of like um, helping farmers to make their own methane. And, uh, you know, because farms, as we know, are an excellent source of methane, aren't they? Well, particularly when it comes to the cow. Yeah, I don't know if we've quite got to the point of uh, harnessing uh, uh, cow methane, but no. certainly uh, crops, rotting crops, mm. rotting crops are a big source of methane. Put them in a, put them in a, some kind of digester, and uh, and out comes methane. Indeed, I, I we know a, all about that. I think it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it probably know. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, another another great highlight of this show. Yeah, mind blowing. What is it, what is it you're showing here, and you know what what's this uh, technology? Can you give me a, a quick summary of All right. what we have here? <laughs> sure. So we here as the Dintec, we support the system integration for electrical systems for OEMs, and here at the booth, we were trying to explain to the our customers our competences, what is involved in when it comes to electrification and therefore we showed our concept car. Uh, this is a high volt, this is a 80, 48 volt system and comprises several aspects like actuation, the, um, the, the drivetrain, the, uh, the steering, but also the power sources, battery, how to drive electric system, uh, hydraulic systems and how to use uh, precision position technologies to, to autonomously operate this vehicle. So again, it shows what we can do and, and clearly what we do is normally based on, on, on our customers' vehicles and not on this concept. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are. Where are we, Thomas? Where, where are we? Which stand are we on? Yeah. Now we're on the McCormick, McCormick stand mm -hmm. uh, and we had to stop here because here in the flesh behind us is one of the year winners of the uh, Tractor of the Year awards. Wow. Uh, which winner? I think it's the Utility Tractor of the this Year. This is the it? Utility Tractor of the Year from McCormick, yeah. yeah. Um, which uh, the awards were announced just yesterday here at, uh, here at Agritechnica. So uh, uh, well worth a stop off and a, and a quick quick look around this one, eh? Well, what are, what are the, the, the trends that you, that you see coming through right now? It's, it's interesting in, the, in all spec aspects of off-highway machinery how we're following the automotive trend as displays are more and more integral into the operator interface. So whether it's um, what well you see in cars, they're, they're bringing in large displays for infotainment and in HVAC systems, so your air conditioning, they're doing exactly the same across all the markets. So display manufacturers are having to meet that demand by offering larger displays into the cab, but also displays that are designed for the industry, um, which means off-highway standard, which means temperature specs, res um, vibration specs and everything that you need for that particular market and of course having a larger display which means we can bring camera interfaces so exactly the same as the automotive so uh, bringing in and integrating reversing cameras side view cameras blind spots um, all very important for safety So this is our brand new 56080 AgriPro telescopic handler. This machine is fitted with JCB's exclusive DualTech BT transmission. That combines two transmissions in one. Hydrostatic for yard work combined with a three-speed power shift transmission for on-road and in-field operation. So welcome here to AgriTechnica where we're showing for the first time today our new Turbo Farmer 43.7e. This is a fully electric telehander, a full-size fully electric telehander for the first time that we're able to display.